Yeah, it looks like time to get a deal. Thanks so much, Scott. Well, there's enough evidence of where not to buy, so we've set out to find where it's best to buy. According to housingpredictor.com, the top three appreciating markets this year are New Orleans, Houston, and Little Rock, Arkansas. Let's find out why. Joining us now is Mike Colpitz, director and editor of housingpredictor.com. Also, Arthur Sherbkow, president of New Orleans' largest real estate agency, Later and Blum, and from Houston, Shradrick uh, Bogany, sorry about that, broker and owner of Era Bogany Properties. Mike, it's your survey, so how did you come up with these cities? Well, we, we survey markets throughout the entire country, over 250 markets, in fact, all local markets in all 50 states. And what we do is we look at it about 20 basic factors for each and every individual market. And everything from the, the amount that uh, people are paying for homes at this point to uh, you know what the dynamics are in the markets as far as the socioeconomics. Are you just looking at cities that are, are, are the winners this year, cities that are coming off a low base? I mean, obviously, New Orleans is pretty beaten down. Well, no, not exactly just that. Uh, what we have taken into consideration with all the markets is that, sure, New Orleans was beaten down because of Katrina, but on the other hand, you have Houston, which has come back wonderfully from some pretty woeful times with uh, Enron and all uh, taking a, a beating on the town, too. But Houston has been or has had a history of being a boom and bust town as far as real estate for many years. And then in third place is Little Rock, and the southeast is growing like no other area in the country. So hmm. it, it was easy to see why yeah, Little Rock is adding more and more on businesses. That list. Yeah, Arthur, are you surprised right. to be at the top of that list? Is that what it feels like in New Orleans right now? Well, after talking to brokers from around the country, I, I feel pretty good about it because they're having a, a pretty rotten year uh, just about in every marketplace. You know, we lost about 200,000 housing units in our marketplace. And we had about a million three population before Hurricane Katrina. We've got about a million one now. And we're having a pretty good, steady stream of people moving back into the city. And now we're starting to see some insurance money come in. We're starting to see our levies uh, get back restored to pre-Katrina levels in better condition than they were before. So we're seeing extremely high consumer confidence in the New Orleans market, and that's what's driving our housing market. Does it seem to you like prices are going to be up 8.4% over the next year? I think that's pretty reasonable. We're up 5.5% over 2005 and 2005 was our best year ever and 2006 was a tremendous distortion because of the hurricane there was a lot of distressed uh, buyers having to find houses on an immediate basis but over a normal unstressed market uh, I think that's uh, that's probably extremely obtainable what specifically within your city is hot right now is it single-family homes is it the upper echelon of homes what is it no it's pretty much that median sales price and our median sales price anything under two hundred thousand dollars anything from hundred and twenty to two hundred thousand is a very hot uh, commodity right now in the greater new orleans market and, and again you know uh... we were already always one of the most affordable housing markets in the country uh... even with the high cost of insurance and it is high we're still, relative to other cities, an extremely affordable housing market. Shadrick, let's talk about Houston a little bit. You heard the characterization that one of the reasons why it's doing well right now is because you had Enron, you know, in the not too distant past, so you kind of took a hit then as opposed to right now when the rest of the country is feeling the pain. Do you think that's why your market's on fire right now? We've been a very healthy and steady market. We've been showing anywhere between 4 to 6 percent appreciation here in the Houston area. We've not had a lot of peaks and valleys, and I would say that the market has been doing extremely well for probably the last 10 to 15 years. And Enron really did not have an effect in Houston. We had one of the best years ever in the housing market. When Enron went down, we had the best year in 2006. We've had a very stable economy. The oil industry is expansive. It's been expanding. We've got $70 a barrel. Um, we've got land to build. We're not landlocked. It's just been a very healthy market. We've got investors on the east and west coast now coming to Houston. And yeah. if you're looking for long term, it's been, a, it's been a great market for the last 10 or 15 years. Now, looking at the whole spectrum, you know, big houses, small houses, cheap, expensive, what are, where are the deals right now in Houston? I would say probably some of the biggest deals are probably going to be with some of the builders. I would say the high end is doing extremely well. And the reason the high end is doing extremely well, because people are finding that you can get a lot more for your house for your money on the high end. We are affordable. Our medium price of homes in Houston 
is about 150 compared to 220 uh, nationwide, uh, 220,000 nationwide. Where can you go and live downtown for $100,000? Where can you go and live downtown for $200,000? You can do that in Houston, and I think we're the most affordable major city in this country. 7.8% over the next year. Does that sound right to you? I think that's about where we're going to see it go. Uh, it's been it's been going about seven to eight percent the whole year. I am a little concerned about subprime. I think that's going to affect the market overall. But overall, we've had a, a great uh, 2006, and the first three months have been good. Mike, tell me about some of these other cities on your list. Um, why is Little Rock hot? Also, Odessa, Texas. Well, Odessa, Texas, really is is of all the places on the list as far as finding a bargain on a home odessa has to be it uh, there are an awful lot of investors out there looking for lower priced homes and odessa has a lot of new businesses moving into the area a good place to do it and you could make seven percent it looks like almost over the next year thanks to all three of you for joining us today thank you thank you